So today sir, I'll be talking about the basic XHTML structure in module 3 lesson 5. So first the objective, so and at the end of the lesson you can able to understand the basic XHTML structure. Second, perform the specific activity about XHTML structure. Last is to master the XHTML structure. So the fundamental structure of XHTML. So first, the fundamental structure of XHTML is crucial for creating well-formed web documents that adhere to structure and standards compared to HTML. So must strict must strict to the HTML. So second is the XH XHTML document starts with declaration, which specifies the version of HTML and ensure that the browser processes the document correctly. So Sa HTML, wala siya mga version-version, pero dili nga sa ato ang XHTML na siya version, tulo at ato kabuo, malasan na ito na niya. So, para mapili yun dapat ang between the, uh, between sa mga version para ma-process ang document properly. So, the root element encloses all other elements providing a framework for structuring content. So, how to create a XHTML structure? So, First, the declaration on in XHTML. So, XHTML has three main doc type types. So, first, the strict, which enforce the strictest compliance with standards. Second, is the transitional, which allows deprecated elements from HTML. So, last is the frame set, used when the document contains frames. So, strict daw is mo na siya strict to. Transitional is Malo siya o mga elements from HTML and the frame set is contains um, that con document that contains frames. So no, choosing the correct doc type ensures that browser interpre interprets the document correctly. So this is an example of code code of HTML with the version streak here and the declaration of doc type. So here's our HTML tag, our head, title tag, which contains a title, our closing tag of head, and our body. So here is a closing tag of HTML. So let's proceed to the root element and the namespace in XHTML. So every XHTML documents must have a root root element that contains all the other elements of the of the document so these elements also define the xml namespace using the xml and s attribute which is required in xhtml so money siyang example sa ato ang root element html so here is our html tag and the closing tag so money siya next is the Head section of XHTML, the metadata and external resources. So, the section of, a, of an XHTML document contains important metadata about the page, such as the title, character encoding, and the links to external resources like style sheet and the script. So, um, here is an example of code, the meta tag, content type. So, ang HTTP niya is content. Ang content niya is equal to text or HTML. So, ato ang link para sa ito ang style sheet or CSS. Money siya ang link. Money siya ang reference na to. And next is the body section, content placement, and XHTML. So, body section is the money siya ito ang makita sa ito ang pag-open sa itong browser. So, the section of an XHTML document is where the all the visible content of the web page is placed. So, mga ito mo. Sa tanan content na ito, makita na ito. So, this includes text, headings, paragraphs, image, links, and other multimedia elements. So, here, an, here is an example of body that contains our heading, the h1 tag, and the paragraph p tag. So, next is the self-closing tags in XHTML. So, in XHTML, every element must either be properly closed or self-closed to comply with XML standards. So, um... Example of this is the uh, self closing tags. Here it is. Self closing tags. Uh, yeah. 
So here's an example. Our image tag na na close, na bar, our BR break line and our HR. So the uh, last is the element nesting and hierarchy in XML. So proper nesting of elements is essential in XHTML as it ensures that the document is well formed. <coughs> Excuse me. Each element must be properly contained with its parent class. So this is an example of correct nesting example. So our body inside our body is our div class. And our, inside our div class is our paragraph. So, muna siya ang correctly na mag-nested og, uh, nested og element. So, incorrectly is is this. So, body. Now na siya ang paragraph kaysa sa div. So, which is wrong. So, let's proceed sa modules. Module 3, lesson 6, no? The basics. H, X, HTML formatting. So, ganina structure man ta sa formatting na po so objective discuss basics xhtml uh, formatting understand the xhtml document formatting master basics xhtml formatting rules so <coughs> excuse me what is xhtml so xhtml stands for extensible hypertext markup language so html is hypertext markup language lang man so which is a stricter and more neatly formatted version of HTML. So, mas strict siya and neat siya pag format. So, designed to follow the stricter syntax rule of XML. So, kung follow daw siya, pinastricto sa syntax of syntax rules of XML. XML. So, in the basic formatting in XHTML, all tags are accounted for with closure. So, well elements properly nest within each other. So, how do how to format XHTML? First is the text formatting and XHTML. So, XHTML offers several elements for formatic format text. So tags like bold, italic, and underlined. So these three are used for visual styling of text. So, however, XHTML encourages using semantic tags such as as and to denote importance and emphasize text respectively. So, the difference between and is that conveys meaning in addition to styling which is important of the accessibility and as and SEO so search engine optimization. Similarly similarly is used for emphasize and it carries more semantic value than anything any else. So creating second is creating and styling this in XHTML. So Kapalo naman tano sa pag-list o oh, naiduha ka type sa list ay <coughs> at three types din sa XHTML. So, these are an ordered list, the ordered list, and the, um, sa to, the definition list. So, uh, example of this uh, code is Adria. Uh, So, list no, dara. An order list niya. Ang list ni mo na tag. So, mo na. Linking and anchors in XHTML. So, the anchor element is used to create hypertext in XHTML. So, these links can point to other pages, files, and sections within the same document. So, to create a link, the href attribute is used to specify the URL of or the anchor target. So, Muna siya ang pagkuhan, no? Ang A tag para sa tuang link. Ang href para sa tuang URL, uh, URL address. And the visit example as your text to... Para muna, pag pinot ni muna, muna ang muhang naka-hyperlink para mo sa kung asa man ni nakabutang ang, ang reference ni mo. So, and the closing tag. Incorporating images and media in, in XHTML. So the media tag is used to embed images in an XTML document. So it is a sub-closing tag that requires the source attri attribute to specify the image file location and the alt attribute to provide alternative tags for accessibility. So image tag not niya. 
Mugami siya ag source na attribute and the uh, alt attribute. So, example of this is here. So, our image tag, source attribute, which contains the address of our image and the alt attribute for the alternative um, alternative text for accessibility. So, mauna siya magpakita kung pag open na to sa itong browser niya, wala, wala na tarong ni pag pagputang sa source. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Tables and XHTML. So, structure and formatting. So, tables are created using the table element. So, with the table rows, it defined as TR, column by TD, and headers as TH. So, XHTML can also include captions using the caption element, so which helps describe the contents of the table. Proper use of table, table ensures that the data is presented in an organized accessible way. So CSS can be applied to style table burger, borders, cell padding, and overall layout to make tables more visually appealing and functional. So, morning example sa to ang table na code, no? so our table tag. Atong caption ganina, sample table na lang kuhaan niya. Ang atong table row niya, table row siya niya. Mga table head ang gi, first ang gi-apply. So, next is our table data, which contains our data. Niya, atong closing size, atong TR and table. Next is, uh, forms in and in XHTML. So, structure and validation. Forms in XHTML are created using the form element, which allows user to submit the data to a server. The form element contains various elements like input, text box, text box, and etc. So, the text area, multi-line text field cell. And the second, uh, last one is the button. So, example of this is submit buttons. Each form element should be associated with the label to ensure accessibility. So, XHTML forms must be properly structured and validated on both the client and server sites to ensure data integrity and prevent errors during submission. So, sample na ni na code is kanin. The form, method use, method uh, attribute, the label name, which contains our variable name, the input, the ID, the text attributes, and then put type val submit value submit. So that's all for this video.